Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this year's final Music Scholars Concert. We are so honored to have you all here tonight as we celebrate the incredible talent, hard work, and dedication of all our music scholars. Over the past year, our students have embarked on a remarkable journey of musical exploration and growth. They have spent countless hours practicing, honing their skills, and pushing the boundaries of their creativity. Tonight, we have the privilege of witnessing the culmination of their efforts. This evening's performance is a testament to the power of music that is able to inspire, uplift, and unite us all. Each performance not, reflects not only the technical proficiency of our scholars, but also their deep love and passion for music. From classical pieces to contemporary compositions, tonight's program promises to be a diverse and enriching experience. Without further ado, let us begin this evening of wonderful performances. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the magic of music brought to life by our scholars. Please welcome our first performer, Bria, to the stage. My name is Bria, and today I'll be playing All Blackthorn Socks from Years of Pilgrimage by Franz Liszt. Years of Pilgrimage was composed during Liszt's inspirational time in Switzerland with his lover, Mar Count Marie de Gault. It represented the composer's impressionist approach to fusing art and music to create imagery. A Blackthorn Socks has many technical challenges that will help me push my boundaries and improve. Every time I play this piece, I always picture a beautiful nature scene that inspired the great composer.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Claire, and today I will be playing the piece Fantasy of 79, composed by Gabriel Faure in 1898, dedicated to Paul Tafano as part of the Paris Conservatoire Concourse and annually held fruit competition. This virtuosic piece consists of two sections, the Andantino movement and the Allegro movement. To me, this piece is contrasting sections, the Andantino with a more artistic melodic idea and the allegro with a more vibrant and playful tone makes it both challenging and fun to play. Furthermore, the flutist also gets to be both the leading melodic line as well as the accompanist to the pianist at times, presenting an enjoyable interaction between the musicians, which I would like to share with you tonight. I hope you enjoy my performance.
my name is Mighty, and this is Morong. And today we're going to perform a piece called Maserka, composed by Robert Schumann. We chose this piece because it's very captivating and fun. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy our performance. My name is Jeannie Juthati Rapap. Today I will perform Dances Argentinas Opus 2 by Alberto Ginastera. Composed in 1937, this is a lively and colorful piece which celebrates Argentine folk music. The first movement, Dance of the Old Herdsman, is playful with folk like themes. The second movement, Dance of the Beautiful Maiden, is lyrical and romantic, showcasing Ginastera's melodic talent. The third movement, Dance of the Arrogant Cowboy, is energetic, capturing the spirit of the Argentine gaucho. I chose this piece because it's captivating for both performer and audience. The three movements make this piece quite long, which is a little challenge for me.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Pimpim, and today I'll be playing Fest Polonaise. Written in the 19th century by prolific French composer Franz Liszt, Fest Polonaise captures the celebratory essence of the traditional Polonaise dance. The Polonaise, which originated from Poland, is characterized by a stately triple meter and a ceremonial air of splendor. I chose this piece not only for its exciting melodies, but also because it is a piano duet which encourages players to be responsive and attentive to their partners, fostering a deep sense of cooperation and musicality. Beyond this development of musicianship, I chose this piece because it granted me the special opportunity to play with a great friend of mine, Sally. Please welcome her to the stage, and I hope you all enjoy. Hello, 
My name is Ira, and today I'll be singing the song called Somewhere That's Green. This song is a heartfelt ballad from the Little Shop of Horrors, the musical. In this song, Audrey sings because she wants to escape from her horrible and harsh reality from Skid Row to a place where she really desires. Today I'll be accompanied by Inan. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, my name is Don from the graduating class of 2024. Today I will be performing Victor Wooten's Classical Thump. Classical Thump is a very technical piece and showcases a lot of techniques on the bass. This piece uh, quotes the melodies from J.S. Bach's cello suite in G major, and I chose this piece in order to represent the contemporary scene in Shrewsbury's music department, and I hope you enjoy.
Good evening, everyone. Thank you for your time being here today. My name is Irene Bunyogi Pratletsa, and today I'll be singing Audition the Fools Who Dream from the movie La La Land. This song is a pivotal ballad sung for a very crucial audition for the character's career. It is composed by Justin Hurwitz. The song reflects the film's theme of dream, ambition, and future. The song celebrates the beauty and struggle of pursuing big dreams as aspiring artists, or to simply put it, dreamers. I would like to thank Miss Mary for teaching me this song and accompanying me today. I hope you all enjoy. My aunt used to live in Paris. I remember she used to come home and tell us these stories about being abroad. And I remember she told us that she jumped into the river once. Barefoot, she smiled. Leapt without looking and tumbled into the sun. The water was freezing. She spent the month sneezing but said she would do it again. Here's to the ones who dream, foolish as they may seem. Here's to the hearts that hang. Here's to the mess we make. She 
captured a feeling Sky with no ceiling A sunset inside a frame She lived in her liquor And died with a flicker I'll always remember the flame Here's to the ones who dream Foolish as they may seem Here's to the hearts that ache Here's to the mess we made She told me A bit of madness is new colors to see Who knows where it will lead us And that's why they need us So bring on the rebels The ripples from pebbles The painters and poets and plays And here's to the As they may seem Here's to the hearts that My name is Tarm Kunhong Kapan. Today I'll be playing Impromptu Opus 90, number two by Franz Schubert. Schubert was a very unique composer as he composed for both classical and romantic music. The piece I'll be playing today is very famous and well known for being very lyrical and very technically demanding also. Thank you. 
is Baemon. Today, I will be performing Etude Tableau, Opus 33, number 7, by Rahmanino. This piece is often referred as seen at the fair. The reason I choose this piece is because of the intense musical picture that this piece creates. During my performance, I encourage you to try and imagine the vivid imagery Rachmaninoff tried to portray when he, when he composed this. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tim, and I'm going to be playing the third movement, the Toccata, from George Crumb's Cello Sonata. George Crumb is a very interesting composer. He's one of the most influential avant-garde composers of the 20th century. He is an American-born um, composer who wrote lots of pieces using lots of extended techniques, using like lots of experimental ideas and concepts to elevate his music. For example, one of his most famous pieces, um, the, Black Angel, uh, the Black Angel Suite, is written with parts for tuned wine glasses, which obviously is not a conventional instrument. And George Crumb himself has earned himself multiple awards, such as the Pulitzer Award for Music and the uh, One Grammy Award. So I hope you enjoy this performance. Thank you for coming today.
Inan, and today I will be playing Etude in C sharp minor, Opus 2, number 1 by Scraven. This etude is one of Scraven's earliest composition, infused with emotional in intensity and with a melancholic theme.
Hello, my name is Chin. I am an alumni of class 2020. Today I will play the third movement of Rachmaninoff Sonata number no. two. Rachmaninoff wrote two versions of this sonata, and I will play the second version, which was revised in 1931. I hope you enjoy.
Now that the skull. Now that the scholar's recital has come to an end, we would like to say a few words of thanks to all of those involved in making this event possible. First of all, to the music scholars who put together these performances. And, and also to the director of music, Mr. Paps. We would also like to thank the heads of departments, Ms. Serena, Mr. J, Mr. Archibald, and Ms. Calvert, as well as the music teachers for your invaluable guidance. We would also like to thank the maintenance team, the technicians, Kun Meg and Kun Ek for lighting and sound, and the music admin team, Ms. Tang Mo, Ms. Fa, and Ms. Amber. Without you behind the scenes, we would not have been able to host this memorable event. And finally, to the audience members, friends, families, teachers, we are very grateful for your support and for being able to share this experience with you. Now, we would like to invite Mr. Paps onto the stage. What a fantastic afternoon, early evening of music. Um, a credit to the scholars. Now, before I invite them up to stage, I'm just going to add to um, the thank yous and thank you uh, to the parent community here at Shrewsbury. Um, you are a passionate, caring, um, amazing group of people that uh, support these students to, to get to the standards that we've seen tonight. Um, and I just want to, uh, for the scholars and for everyone else, give you a big round of applause. Thank you so much. <laughs> this year's Music Scholars, please come to the stage. only have they been um, working tirelessly to perform the music that they performed um, this afternoon um, and throughout the year as individuals, um, they've been involved in countless um, ensembles from orchestra, wind band, big band, jazz band, um, the musical this year, uh, as accompanists in choirs, um, and rock bands, and many, many things that we do, and they are really the backbone of music at um, Shrewsbury. So, um, well done. Thank you, Music Scholars. Fantastic. <laughs> I'd also uh, like to welcome to the stage um, our Scholar alum, um, Chin, for um, joining us this afternoon and um, performing with our Scholars. Thank you, Chin. I'm going to keep this short. It is now photo time. Um, thank you so much for, for this year and music. Um, thank you to the scholars. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful um, summer break. Um, and please now feel free to take as many photos as you would like.